Today I have a Funko Pop mystery box from the company Boom Loot. So this was shipped to me back on September 29th, 2020. What this box is, this is what they call the Boom Loot Imperfect Boxes Mystery Boom Box Volume Number 14 Pack of Six Pops. My invoice says it was $72 shipped. So shipping was probably like, what, 12 bucks? I'm guessing it's probably about $60 box without actually, I, I can't actually see the breakdown. I just see like your order's been delivered. So it's probably about a $60 box or so in that range. This has six pops in it and it is imperfect boxes. Some of these boxes could have a little bit of damage on them, but you know, so you can't expect mint boxes. So I know that going in at 10, 10 bucks a pop, I mean, you're probably destined to get more of what you paid in value. At least that's what I'm, what I'm guessing. I could be off though. But yeah, I haven't purchased any of the Boom Loot Imperfect boxes for a long time. I usually do like their, uh, they call it a uh, uh, Chases and Exclusive or, S or Grails and Exclusive, whatever it one's called. Th those I usually do really well on, it seems like most of the time. I really like those boxes. But here we go with the Imperfect Boom Loot. I know Boom Loot sells their Fungal Pop Mystery boxes on Monday nights. And sometimes they sell out very fast. You've got to be on the website when they go on sale at like 9 or 9.30. And you got to be fast. And sometimes they do limit you. Like this time, I think there's a limit of one box per person. So you got to be careful. If you order more than one, you'll get canceled. So always pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, each... E well, actually it's double boxed. Double box job here. kind of kind of nice these should be in pretty good condition i'll go ahead i'll show you what this box looks like with the boom box mystery box okay so mystery loot boom box access to it's upside down so i can't see because if you do it like top side up you can kind of see the top of the pops but we'll do we'll go through pull out all six pops and then go back look, look up prices on the whatnot app here we go Breaking that seal, it's always fun to do. Are these upside down? Yep, okay, so I cannot see what these pops are from the bottoms of them. That was on purpose, so there's nothing in pop protectors. They're all like loose pops, so I don't know which is gonna be good, which is gonna be bad. I can tell by this one right here, this pop is an older Funko bottom. So this one has the old, this is the oldest pop, and it actually will pull this one last, because this one is the older pop. Here we go. First one. Hopefully it's a good one. The back. Oh, it's um, oh, the cat from Captain Marvel. Goose the cat. Oh, sweet. This is Flocked Bunch Box Lunch Exclusive Goose the Cat from Captain Marvel. I know actually that Goose the Cat was probably my favorite character from the from the Captain Marvel movie. That cat was just freaking awesome. When it like transformed to that big thing and like, yeah. Cool cat. I enjoyed that character. Here we go, next one. The back says Lord of the Rings. This is, oh, I'm gonna butcher this name. I, I've tried to say his name a few times on camera. Grish, Grishnok. This is 2019 ECCC exclusive. I think this is actually a shared exclusive, I think with Barnes and Nobles, if I remember correctly. But Grish Knock. Okay, the first box had a little bit of damage in the back of it. This one has that that weird factory crease that some Funko Pops come from the Funko Factory with a strange like crease in the back of it. Not really a crease, it's just like the machine started folding it wrong and then it changed its mind. You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm talking about, it has that in the back of it. But beyond that, it's got a few scratches in the window. It's not bad shape. Both the first two haven't really been like damaged or anything. You know, they're, they're okay. Next one. The back says a Lion King. We have Simba. Entertainment Earth flocked. That's a big pop in there. That's a very, that pop takes up like the entire box on the inside of the box. That is a big one. But we got Simba flocked Entertainment Earth exclusive. I think I had this one before, but it had like the overseas sticker on like it was. And damage on this. 
little bit of like window rubbing right there. But beyond that, there's no damage on just besides like it's a window rub. So that's not that's not bad damage at all. Next one. Oh, looks like we got Yoda. The back of it says Yoda. Yep, we've got Master Yoda. Now this one's pretty much, I think this is worth like, like common pop. This thing's not damaged at all on this. This box is pretty much a minty fresh box. That one's actually in fantastic condition for the Yoda. Okay, next one. We got Michael Jordan, UNC. This is the Walmart exclusive Michael Jordan in that UNC baby blue for NC Tar Heels. Let's see, has some window rubbing going on just from rubbing against either the pop case or actually it can happen just in the shipping box. It, they rub against each other and they cause like some wear on each other. But beyond that, it has that weird factory crease in the front of this box right here that you get sometimes, like I said with the other pop. This one has it on the front right here. If you know what I'm talking about, it, is, it just appears on pop sometimes. Very strange. So here we go, last one. This one had the older bottom to it. This is gonna be an older pop. Maybe like 2016 or 15, 14. Here we go, last one. Is that a good one? It says, Clueless Share. Okay, yeah, this is an older one. This is long vaulted pop with the share. Let's see condition on this. I have a little little blemish right here on the bottom corner. Very, very small. It's like a it's it's called like a blemish. I have a small little like a flaw right here, like a mini crease. All in all, oh we got a little crease up here on the top. Where somebody probably, you know, try to open it up and they put a little crease right here on the top of the box. It's probably like 8 out of 10 condition. That's not bad. The window's actually in flawless shape. Window's in fantastic shape. Yeah, I'm actually good with this box. It's in good shape. So now let's see some value. I'm actually going to use the Whatnot app, which is one of the official sponsors of my YouTube channel. So if you want to buy and sell Funko Pops, which I do buy and sell on there, Whatnot app is a safe and secure way to sell your Funko Pops or buy your Funko Pops. Okay, so first one, let's do this Jordan one first. The Whatnot app will tell you the PPG value and the Whatnot average selling price. So this has a PPG of $26. It sells on Whatnot between $18 and $60. So it has a pretty very wide range of sales of actual money changing hands. But we'll go by PPG for this first one at 26 bucks though. So that's actually not bad right there. Almost pays for half the box. Let's do this uh, Grishnok. I know I butchered that name once again. I always do. And this guy has a PPG value of $9. It sells on whatnot between five and $9. So I think retail on this thing was like 10 bucks at Barnes and Noble. So this actually sells for less than what retail was. That's pretty bad. But nine bucks right there, it's better than nothing, I guess. Let's go ahead, let's do the share, because this is probably gonna be the most expensive one. So the share is worth PPG of $44, has a whatnot average selling price of 46 to 70. Of course, the 70 is gonna be like a box that's in like mint condition, no flaws, no blemishes, and then 46 is like the lowest end. So this one probably be like, you know, 46 to 50 bucks on the whatnot. It has a few small blemishes on it, but PPG of $44 though. So I'll take that in a heartbeat. Right there we're at $79. We're actually, we're already way above what I paid. Now we're gonna do Groot, or not Groot, Goose the Cat. And this one has a PPG value of 13 bucks. It sells on whatnot between seven and 19, a wide range once again. Damage plays a factor in price, but PPG is 13 bucks. Next one, we got this Yoda, a newer pop, but everybody, you know, loves their Yoda, especially with the new baby Yoda craze that's going on, the child. PPG, 11 bucks, it has never sold on whatnot so far, but PPG, 11 bucks. 
I mean, that puts us right there at over 100 bucks already. Already. So last one, we got this Simba Flocked Entertainment Earth Exclusive. Has a PPG value of $11. Sells on whatnot between five and 22. Condition, this box was pretty good. Has some window rub. This would be more, you know, PPG value by $11. So all six of these pops came in at a whole $114 of PPG value. This box was around like what, 60 or so, depending on how much shipping cost me, 60. So I got almost double my money back in value. This is actually a fantastic mystery box. Everything will be for sale. Some of these, most of these I'll sell on the Whatnot app. So drill link down below to download the Whatnot, search for Franchise Kicks. You can see all my pops for sale. So thanks for watching, see you next time. Funko Bad Guy, out.